Okay, it's been a few days since I did a video. Uh, I apologise for that. Um, but this video is going to be part of VAR, and I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible because uh, it's a controversial subject at the best of times, and there are, are issues with it. Issues are they're experimenting with it with competitive games. They're cherry picking which games they're using, so there's not every game of an FA Cup round. It's oh, it's only the Premier League sides are at home. Um, the consistency is not there. The amount of time it takes to make decisions is not there, and we the fans don't know what's going on. Uh, West Brom Liverpool was a prime example of it taking a long time. Yes, decisions were correct, but it took a long time. It killed the momentum of the game. It ruined the atmosphere at Anfield. Um, both Jurgen Klopp and Pardew stated as much. Pardew won the game as a manager. He was like, "Yeah, the VAR did have a big part of play in that. Um, it killed. It killed them. It, it. 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 We didn't know what was going on." Um, Yes, it sort of worked, but we didn't, you know. So managers are being critical of it without knocking it because they know it's here to stay and they want to help it work. But they, if they are confused, we don't know what's going on. Chelsea Norwich didn't work. It was proven to be complete farce. It was all over the back pages. It makes the FA look stupid. Leicester Fleetwood Town replay at Leicester. It worked. So in the last couple of weeks, it's been used in several high-profile games. Um, the issue I have is these games are knockout football, winner takes all. And there is uh, there is a lot at stake. Other issues I have is I don't think they've consulted with other sports that use VR refs because there's not been a transparent process in this. Um, you will notice this weekend if you watch the Six Nations, if you watch the Super start of the Super League, if you're going to watch the uh, Melbourne Storm Leeds Rhinos uh, Club Championship game in a couple of weeks, you will notice the video in rugby union and rugby league being used. You will. It doesn't matter if it's every game, but you will notice it at least in one game out of the games you will watch. It will be used. And that's crucial to note. Has football gone to rugby? The governing bodies of Rugby League and Rugby Union gone, uh, uh, yeah, we've got this idea, we want to use a video ref, can you help us? Can you explain, can you, can you show us how yours works? What issues you had, can you explain what issues you had? Teething problems, what was good, what was bad, what you've evolved with it? I don't think the FA, because they're the ones in implementing this very test on behalf of UEFA and FIFA, have they done their consultation with other sports? Have they been transparent? No, it's the answer. They may have consulted other sports, they haven't been transparent. Because, in my eyes, the solution is, when you mic up the ref, let us hear. Rugby does that very well. Let us know why he's making the decision. Players didn't know what was going on. Managers didn't, fans didn't. Not good. Viewers didn't. Not good. Not if you want to sell the game. Um, the decisions need to be made quicker, but correctly. So I'm not saying rush decision, but some of those decisions were obvious. It's offside. It's a penalty. Just get on with it. Or it's not a penalty. Bang. Make the decision. Move on. Far too long, which I think disrupted the players and the momentum of the game. Where it didn't work at the Chelsea Norwich game, all the decisions it was given, it didn't work. So consistency. Um, and I'm also concerned they are using it in competitive matches when they haven't fine-tuned the process. When the fine when the process is fine-tuned, they all mean to roll it out. Um, I think they should have done it in friendlies, pre-season and international friendlies. And then they eat after each batch of friendlies, they can have that period of obviously international break. We can now assess not all the referees will be refereeing. We can assess the pros and cons of this. They need to make the, the system transparent as well because the amount of money involved in football now and the amount of money at stake um, and what is at stake it needs to be more transparent and they need to really communicate better with us, the fans um, because we're, we're the ones buying the products and if we're not happy we're going to just start getting frustrated and I, yeah other sports are having issues with their video refs at some points but they seem to work out quite quickly um, football needs to learn quick. Uh, I don't know what the next round of the FA Cup is going to be like and what games are going to be scheduled for VAR, but the the the, the football media, the sports media, uh, the experts have been very critical of it so far. Um, they need to get the decisions made quicker, more clarity, more consistency. Simple. Uh, there are still a lot of issues with it. Um, no system is 100% foolproof. Um, I accept that, but they're trialling it during competitive matches where it's knockout football, and I think that's maybe not the right way. They, should, yeah, as I said, they should have done it 
in the pre-season. But I want to hear your thoughts on it anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place some comments below. Um, I'll have more videos for you soon. Uh, I've got a few more topics I want to cover today at least. And um, yeah, uh, I'll have some more for you soon.